Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and assemble a Volkswagen CV joint. All right, here we got three CV joints. They're all for the same 72 Volkswagen bus. This one right here is a Lobro. This one's an MP. You know, they look a little different, you know, in color and all that, but they're essentially the same thing. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I got two of them here. One of them is assembled correctly. One of them is assembled incorrectly or, or the wrong way, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, well, let's start out with the incorrect one, okay? You got the uh, single line on this, uh, I don't know the terminology or the correct lingo for the CV lingo, but the single line goes towards the wheel or the flange, the side without the line goes towards the axle. Some of them have three lines and one line. The ones with the three lines from what I've read go towards the wheel or the flange. The ones with the single line go towards the axle. But this one right here has a single line. This one has a single line. The single line goes towards the wheel or the uh, flange. All right, so getting back to this right here. This one is in, this one is assembled incorrectly. The balls, the cage, this is the cage. They're all incorrectly. But what what you need to pay attention to is that this inner gear part has narrow hump, wide hump, little narrow hump, wide hump, narrow hump, wide hump, okay? And then this outer body has, in between where the ball, little ball holes go, you have a little narrow hump, a wide hump, and then you got the ball hole with the narrow hump, ball hole with the wide hump, ball hole with the narrow, and so on and so forth. The, what you have to make sure is that these wide humps on the inner part, line up or match up with the narrow ones of the body. So see this one right here, I have the wide hump with the wide hump. That's incorrect. There is really no articulation to this. I mean, you can you can put it together like this, but when you put it on, it's not gonna angle the way you need it. This one right here is, is assembled correctly. See, you have like this wide hump in between the ball holes. This wide hump is supposed to be lined up with the little narrow humps, not the wide ones like, like this one is. So you don't want wide and wide, narrow, narrow. You want wide with the narrow, you want the narrow with the wide and so on and so forth, okay? Now, to disassemble them, okay, these are old ones, so, you know, don't use a screwdriver if you're trying to not damage the ones you're trying to install, okay? But for some, for, for this video, I'm using a screwdriver, okay? so comes apart like that. These are all dry, so um, when you're assembling them, you know, maybe you want to have them a little lubed up or something like that, but this is how I do it right here. Look, boom. Little, little balls come out. Oh, don't lose your balls. Okay, there's six balls. And once you get them a certain amount, okay, look at that, boom. Little balls come out. You can use like a little wooden stick or something so, not, so you don't scratch up your your stuff okay see so you got these two parts right here once you got the balls out okay it comes out it doesn't come out straight kind of twist it a little boom it comes out okay so let's start out this way okay i want to have a uh, flan side wheel side down doesn't make a difference but for this one we'll do flan side down wheel side down axle side up okay boom okay then you got your cage this is what you call the cage all right, now this cage right here, everything has to go a certain way. You can't have, you know, you can't have these all mishmashed, okay? So this part goes towards the axle, this part goes towards the wheel. All right, so on this cage part, you have the side with, that's got like a little fancy kind of like, uh, like a countersunken end, and then you have the side that's perfectly flat. I don't know if you can see it, perfectly flat. Now the perfectly flat side, that side goes the same side as the flange or wheel side. So this is the flange side, this is our axle side. Flat side goes with the flange, this little countersunk, you know, cut fancy one goes towards the axle, okay? Now you have this one right here, okay? Some of them are a little bit different, but this one's got a little raised lip. They're all pretty much gonna have a raised lip on one end, and then on the other end it's gonna be flat. This one's got a little, little tiny little like, cut into it but but it's pretty much flat versus the raised side I mean it's pretty obvious okay so the raised side of this is supposed to be 
lined up or the same side as the the fancy kind of countersunk cut part not the flat part okay so the flat part of this goes lined up with the flat part of this okay fancy raised part lip goes with the fancy little countersunk part okay so to put this together it's kind of going like that it won't always it won't go in like this so you gotta kind of go kind of like eh, just keep trying boom and it goes in okay once you have that in now you might want to grease these up a little bit if you're trying not to mess them up but like i said this is for uh this is an old one so okay see boom so it just kind of clips in like this you, you got that right there doesn't matter which way you put the balls in they're uh, from what i've noticed they're all about the same boom boom and they don't fall out once they're in there because i guess the clearance between here and here is like just a little bit less than than the balls okay okay so we have all the uh the little ball bearings in there they're moving around okay fancy uh countersunk side with the uh raised lip okay now now we want to make sure that this side is on the same side as the axle side mm, okay the fancy raised side is the same side as the axle side okay so now what i do is okay what i do here is i want to make sure that a little skinny part little skinny hump is lined up with one of these these fatter ones right here okay so what you do is you find, try to find let's say find a find a fat hump okay fat hump and like I said you're gonna want to make sure that this fat hump is lined up with one of these small small little humps doesn't matter which small little hump there's three of them and there's three fat ones okay so what I do is okay um, find two balls right okay you got the fat, fat hump here and you got the ball to the left and you find the ball opposite from it okay so it's these two right here okay you put in this ball to the left of one of the little skinny humps because that's going to make of course this hump this fat hump on this line up with a little narrow hump on the on the uh the body of the cv okay so when you put that in and it's obvious that these two balls are going to be going here these two bearings are going to go here and these two are going to be these two here so it's not going to go in like this i mean there's no physical way it's going to go in like this so what you do is you get the bottom ball get it put in there like that okay and you get the furthest one okay and this is the hole that it's got to go into obviously okay now i get them perpendicular like this and as you get them perpendicular like this actually i'll go this way this way okay like this and as you start putting this one in okay so you got the bottom one right here and then like I said it's not gonna go in if you go straight but you got to kind of go perpendicular like this Follow the bottom line, the bottom ball, and as you start putting it like that, and as you and as this ball starts getting towards the bottom end of closer to this this end of the uh, the the body, like this, this ball is going to start pivoting to the right and start lining up with this hole, boom, like that. And then once you get that little clearance right there, this side hasn't come out all the way yet. Make sure that one doesn't go all the way. So once you get that, that little ball, this ball kind of slides into this little spot here. Just start kind of twisting it. Boom. And that's it. It's in there. See, and I got them lined up. Little hump, big hump, big hump, little hump, little hump, big hump. And that's it. You see the art articulation of this way versus this one where you have the big humps together with the little humps, the little humps, the little hump. This is wrong. And this one doesn't doesn't turn doesn't articulate at all so this one right here like i said it will articulate make sure that the this lifted lip this fancy countersunk part on the cage is all on the axle side okay flat flat goes with a single line and that's how you rebuild a uh, volkswagen cv thank you for watching please subscribe and like if you enjoyed it